You see, the thing is, a few days ago, I reached the grand old age of 50, and uh, the saying goes, with age comes wisdom. Well, I'm not so sure. Now, I've done a couple of videos this year already where I've explained on how the channel has had to evolve. Uh, it had to evolve to become fresh and interesting, but it also had to because of what I enjoyed as uh, in creating the content and being proud of the content that I put out. And this really, is another chapter in that progression and an explanation as to how one presence changed my whole attitude in the last few days. You see the dilemma is very simple, very straightforward. Currently this is my office, this is where I get to test all the latest golf clubs before they're released. As you know I've pretty much travelled the world playing the best golf courses but there's a an option on the table to choose a more lucrative path. So which way do I go? Do I keep dreaming? Do I keep living the dream? Or do I choose the money option? Half my audience out there, you'll know what this situation is. You reach 50, it's a milestone in your life. Uh, we've also had a strange old year with COVID, so it's very much been a time for reflection. And uh, in recent weeks, I've got to admit, I've been, I've been made offers in terms of work-wise to choose a much more lucrative option than continuing to create content for YouTube. And that's thrown up a massive dilemma. It's a dilemma because of being 50. I'm no young kid doing this thing and obviously you've got to make decisions that are based on financial security. That is one of the major things in life that you have to ensure is right. So making the decision that I have, it's been really tough. And couple that with being 50, it's made it even tougher somehow. Now I know this dilemma isn't unique to me, so uh, comments down below. When have you faced a dilemma like this? You must have done some time in your life. And I suppose the other question is, I mean, what would you do? What path would you choose? Tough one. So I've spent years doing exactly what I want to do. I think that starting this YouTube channel a few years ago as, uh, well, it was a hobby, but it was something that I wanted to do. Even then, I felt that I was a little bit old for the YouTube game, but for whatever reason, We've managed to grow the channel and in the last six months and the changes that were made made a massive difference and the inquiries came in and they came in from a lot of different people and next year looks to be extremely busy and i think that's because we changed the channel but i changed the channel on the basis of again creating what i wanted to create and then if people enjoyed it hopefully you could sense my enthusiasm through the lens and that would translate into your kind of enjoyment and buying into it as well. And I think to a degree that has certainly happened. And like I said, we've got a lot of things on the horizon, but there were also a lot of things offered to me that meant me leaving YouTube and getting a proper job. And like I said, I'm 50. It's a dilemma. Do you really want to be a YouTuber at 50? Is it time to grow up and get a proper job? And then one box of trainers changed everything, or sneakers, as you call them in America, changed everything. And they made the decision for me. My wife bought me a pair of sneakers that um, I refused to buy for a number of years because I felt as I was too old for them. It's that simple. And the packaging came and there's certain things in there that basically, um, persuaded me that you should never stop dreaming. And uh, I suppose even at my age, I can't help but stop dreaming of what I wanna do. And that's not 
be mainstream, it's not do what I'm expected to do. It's not be let my age dictate what I'm supposed to do. And I got very close to letting that happen. But the trainers saved me and that isn't gonna happen. And I ain't quitting YouTube and I'm carrying on. And I'm carrying on it's without doubt next year will be the biggest and best year that the channel has ever had and i'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that we continue to create interesting original content and that is i want to carry on telling these stories that we've tried to tell in this last six months so much planned for next year and i really do believe that you should never stop dreaming you shouldn't it's too many it's too easy to stop and uh, it's too easy to let other things get in the way which they quite nearly did but they're not gone and we carry on and like I said it's gonna be an incredible year for 2021 the final message is this I want to thank everybody uh, I do it periodically uh, but probably not enough the whole thing has always been only and i've said it before so it's a bit repetitive but you only exist on this platform if the people out there watch and support your channel and i've got so many people that come back and watch every video they comment on every video and that kind of support is massively important to people like me who try to create this stuff you need that encouragement and um, it may seem a little bit needy at times but when we ask for those comments it's that enthusiasm and encouragement that uh, inspires you to make the very next video so keep all that coming and like i said as i've always done i really appreciate all of the people that support this channel and allow me to keep on dreaming into 2021 and uh cheers i'll see you all soon now before you leave i just thought i'd also show you the progression that's been made in uh, this kind of studio that we've built which is so good to work from you see this backdrop behind me all the time on the videos uh, but that's all nice and finished off now and then we knocked this room into that room there which has given us this great workspace again that we're able to film a lot from great piece of artwork there from somebody called tight lies on instagram they did that not so long ago for me our new lady uh, who's not in today would normally sit there really doing a great job and then on the back wall their images were that we had printed from my uh, photographs that i took in scotland and the hickory putter there as well and of course there's a nice uh, comfortable uh, sofa to chill out on uh, under here more importantly that's where the dog sits although she has got a new bed that's coming it's just all happening right now at uh, average hq uh, what else have we got here? We've got a little bit of an... We're just filming uh, some, yeah, product shots of the Mizuno putter you've seen the video from. But that table in that area, we kind of move things around and film against this backdrop, change what's underneath, change what's at the back. Uh, you've seen before I go our little... Uh, our little, he's not little, our... My Highland Cow. We've got Liam on the wall. We've got some flags. We've got Sevy. My Presswick flag is new on the wall. It's all going on right now and uh, it's all thanks to you carrying on watching. We've created what is uh, a great environment for us to be creative in. It's a great workspace. Next door through there, I have just literally threw a load of golf clubs because it was all a 2021 product range that was scattered all around. In that room, we're developing that we can then do these kind of product shoots in there, in that room, nice and isolated and uh, create lots of amazing content for 2021 i've already said it once in this video but thanks for watching and uh hit that like if you fancy it see you later i guess we keep living the dream